The difference now, 1.2 seconds. Well, now it's not so much about numbers, it's just about the visual proximity of the cars. So they're going to be both scrutinising each other. Lowndes gets the better view. Tander will get a sense. Three to go, three to go. Just push so hard to get there. Yeah, so basically, Tander looks to me as though the rear of the car is just starting to slide a little bit more. He's dragging everything out of it. Oh, he didn't get it turned in at two. He didn't get it quite on the line that he wanted. This will get Craig even closer again. Three laps remaining. It's absolutely incredible to think that you can have a motor race that goes almost six and a half hours, almost 160 laps by now, and less than a second separating one and two. Racing team versus Team Vodafone. Tander against Lowndes. In an ultimate grandstand finish. He's going to be right on him. He's going, to, he's going to actually get to him. And I wasn't sure that that was going to be the case by the time they got to the flag. But it is actually going to be a genuine battle between these guys. And uh, there's no way on this planet that Tander's going to make it easy. He will fight tooth and nail, and there's no way that Lance has got anything in his mind other than trying to mow straight over the top. A little anti-roll bar adjustment for the rear anti-roll bar. One click for Craig Lance. So these guys are going to draw on everything they've got. They've been doing it for a long time. They're both vastly experienced. It's three quarters of a second. Garth Tander, lanky Western Australian, having a crack at the Victoria. They're both in Holdens, but two different flavours and there's a lot of very strong rivalry between these two teams and between these two guys. Respect but not a lot of love lost when you get down to the crunch. The margin is officially 0.67 of a second. The numbers kind of don't matter because it is going to be an arm wrestle to the finish. Less than 12 kilometres remain. Okay, mate. Choose your position wisely. You've got him. Well, that position has been turned two for Craig Lowndes. But they've got to do it without crunching into each other. And it's almost like they've got the circuit to themselves. No traffic around them. And Triple Eight, because of all the queuing and the way in which things have worked for them during the day, they've not led at any stage during the day, but they might just end up leading in this car. Oh, look at Garth's car sliding off the cutting. They might end up leading when it matters most, which is at the sharp end of the race. Here comes Tanda. Hold your breath, Australia, because it's game on. They're line astern at the top of the mountain. And watch this place erupt. Tanda's car is squirming. Lowndes is pressuring. Tanda responds, puts the foot down across Skyline. Down through the S's. Absolutely nothing in it. The Dipper. He can see Lowndes coming. He's right on him. What a display from both these guys. We're not seeing mistakes. They're driving them within a millimetre of their life. There'll be no tyre life left for either of them. Tanda covers. He wants to shake that Team Vodafone car out of the stream behind it. It's going to be an absolute nail-biter. You watch how committed both of them will be through the chase. The slightest of errors can cost you or win you this race. You put it together, you'll get past him. But Tanda's not going to let him go. He's going to fight it all the way to the finish. Turn two. Watch for Lance to have a big lunge at turn two, but Jeremy's already said, choose your place wisely. They need Craig to draw on all his experience at Team Vodafone. The guy he's beating or trying to beat here at the moment and beating to death around the rear bumper, Garth Tander at the Toll Holden Racing right, Team. Right, they up, need him on. to be really wise here as well and cover the best they can. Has Garth got anything by response? Is he going to go up the inside? What's going on in the braking area? Tander covers. And he is going to fight hard. This will not be easy for Craig Lowndes, trust me. He's going to have to hope 
that Tander makes a mistake and Garth Tander does not make many of those. Louds looks left, he looks right. Everywhere, everywhere he looks, Tander shuts the door. This is the last lap of the race. Unbelievable. They're virtually at the point of paid exchange. There's less than five kilometres going in this 1,000k race. On top of the mountain, they rise as one. To see these two extraordinary drivers continue this amazing battle. Contend to hold on and get his third. Bathurst Championship. Can Louds round him up? and lead the race for the first time when it matters on the deck. Garth is struggling for grip with that car, but he's still got him covered. I, I don't know whether he's got enough. It's just amazing. It's almost impossible to read. He does everything that he can to cover. This is for the biggest prize in Australian motor racing. Tanned by two car links at the moment over Lowndes. Lowndes has a look. Remember the brave move a couple of laps ago. He has a big crack under brakes. Tander holds on. One more opportunity for Craig Lowndes to have a crack. It's been more than 30 years since a rookie claimed victory at Mount Panorama in a legendary finish. This is the year of the rookie of the pro. Tander and Nick Perkett are the champions. A race. Well done, Greg Murphy, too, and everybody at Pepsi Max. But that's extraordinary. What a pro, Garth Tander. He didn't have the car pace in the end, but he had the smarts and the experience and the poise, the concentration and the skill to get the job done. I, that's probably the closest finish ever. 0.29. 0.29 of a second. We started this motor race at 10.30. It's just after 5 o'clock Eastern Australian summer time. And they were one car length apart at the end. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000 champions from the Toll Holden Racing Team. Would you please congratulate Garth Tander and Nick Perkat? Oh, Nick, Nick, why don't you go first? Uh, what a day, a fantastic drive. We saw you coming off Phillip Island and you've done it again this weekend. Great team effort, well done. Oh, it's just a massive credit to Toll HRT. They kept me very calm when I had a few little issues and then, uh, yeah, just can't thank Coach Hire. They have got me here without this, it's amazing. And uh, just this guy here, unbelievable at the end there. Oh, Tanda, absolutely fantastic. You were rock solid all day. And then you had Lounsey breathing down your neck. Yeah, it's a pretty exciting finish, wasn't it? So um, thanks very much to our guys. They did a fantastic job all weekend. We had a very fast car and a great job all the way through the race. Put us in the lead when we needed to be there and then uh, fought it out all the way to the end. So thanks very much to Holden, to Toll, to HSV, Mobile, Rockstar, Bridgestone, all our supporters. And uh, Holden wins again. Boys, why don't you jump up there and have a bit of fun? Our winners, ladies and gentlemen, Garth Tander and Nick Perkat To make the presentation to third place, Mr Scott Curtin, the Area General Manager for Telstra. Presenting to second place, Mr Andrew Coates, the Marketing Director of Jim Beam. And presenting the first place trophies from our major sponsor, Super Cheap Auto, the Chief Op Operating Officer, Mr David Ajala. The Peter Brock Trophy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000 winners.